Hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. So I was gonna do more miscellaneous questing. But no. I am feeling. I really am feeling the Dark Brotherhood. So if you remember we have to go to to, to the abandoned house in the city of Shayendale, which we've seen on the local map. Now, I still find it funny as hell that Why am I resting one hour at a time? Holy shit. I gotta think that through. There, now it's 9 a.m. go in the spooky abandoned house. Ah, uh, uh, it's spooky in here. Can I actually sleep in here? With a skill book, actually, just chilling there. Go in the abandoned basement. Can't really see shit, but that's so cool. Sanguine, my brother. And then he says, Welcome home. I've gained entrance into the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. I must now speak with. A... Thank you. Greetings, brother. Greetings. I am Oshiva, mistress of this sanctuary. Lucian has told me all about you. I welcome you to the Dark Brotherhood. You stand now in our sanctuary. May it serve as your new home, a place of comfort and security whenever the need arises. Okay. When you're ready for work, go and speak with Vicente Valtieri. He handles all assignments for new family members. But before you go, please accept this gift from your new family. A unique set of armor, lighter than normal leather and black as the void. Now, Thank you. I've kept you long enough. Vicente is waiting. You'll find him in his quarters. Go now, my child, and may Sithis go with you. Lucian isn't here very often. His duties with the Black Hand keep him very busy, so he trusts me to keep the sanctuary in order. To employ the services of the Dark Brotherhood, one must perform a ritual to the Night Mother. Only then will she heed their prayers for murder. It is an ancient rite, this black sacrament. All across the Empire, every day, people beseech the Night Mother to take the lives of others. After a person performs the ritual, they are contacted by a speaker. Gold is exchanged, and the details worked out, so it is always best. I've, I've heard some talk. This past year, some family members have been found murdered. Could there be an assassin among assassins? That sounds likely. Ours is not the only Dark Brotherhood sanctuary. There are others hidden throughout Skirador, each one overseen by a speaker of the Black Hand. Those fools in the church and their so-called Nine Divines there is no divinity beyond the eternal and terrible rule of our dread father, Sithis. I'd like to humbly disagree with that, considering... ...and may the Night Mother wrap you in her cold, loving embrace. Ugh. Oh! <gasps> hey, Mr. Skeletal! Oh, and we do got new armor. Shrouded armor. And hood. It does do a lot of cool things. It pretty much nukes our, uh. Well, 
our armor rating. I wish to welcome you to this sanctuary. I welcome you to our family and the sanctuary. May you find yourself at home here in the loving embrace of Our Lady, the Night Mother. Oh, thank you, fam. Ochiva and I have known Lucian since we were hatchlings. He is the one who trained us in the way of the Shadow Scale and is like a father to us. I heard the gauntlets of the Crusader are gone from the chapel in Coral. Yeah, about that. I'm the guy that took that. In the Argonian homeland of Black Marsh, those born under the sign of the Shadow are taken at birth and presented to the Dark Brotherhood. A Shadow Scale hatchling is trained in the arts of stealth and assassination and leads a life in service to the mighty kingdom of Argonia. Any Shadow Scale who lives to come of age is accepted into the Dark Brotherhood as a full member of the family. So it was with myself and Ochiva. Okay, May you walk always in the shadow and peace. We're gonna say pretty much the same things. I welcome, brother. So good to finally meet you. I hope you're getting along all right. No. Poison of fatigue, I mean. I am honored by your presence. Greetings once more. All right. Why are you stealthing around, lady? It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Warmest. Door to his quarters. Hey. If it isn't... oh. I heard the go by cities. I don't have all day. He does uh paralyze, huh? Ooh. I need a higher illusion skill. He's a vampire. Yep, he's a vampire. <laughs> Warmest greetings to you. I trust you've already spoken with Ochiva. I am Vicente Valtieri. I provide assignments for all new family members. Please do not let my appearance unnerve you. The needs and tenets of the Dark Brotherhood come before my own needs as a vampire. Now, if you're ready to get to work, I can provide you with your first contract. I was stricken with vampirism 300 years ago while on an expedition deep into the ashlands of Vardenfell. For nearly a hundred years I hunted in secret until the Dark Brotherhood found me. Now I have a family that accepts and even values my unique gifts. Perhaps in the future, when I feel you have earned the right, I will offer you a chance to become a hunter of the night. And yes, you can... Well, it just explained it. He'll make you a new vampire. The but... is a secret pact one enters into with the Dark Brotherhood. They provide us with gold, and we remove someone from existence. A contract is fulfilled by a skilled assassin such as yourself, who keeps the Dark Brotherhood's end of the bargain. So it has always been. Okay. While carrying out a contract, you may have the opportunity to earn a bonus if certain parameters are met. Now, let's begin, shall we? I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship, surrounded by his crew. Interested? 
Ja. Excellent. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaud. He will be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaud in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Oh, and one more thing. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contracts. Their insight may prove invaluable. Spill some blood for me, dear brother. Ah, quest of watery grape. I'm not gonna ask about contracts. Like I know this these so well. Oh. That's right. I gotta leave through this door until I get it's. One of the advancements, I'll get a, uh, uh, I'll get a thingy. A key for the well. Okay, so, just double check some things. Uh, might as well, you know, bump it up all the way. We'll repair, or we'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, see, use a little bit of strategy. Look what happens. Okay. And we will fast travel to the waterfront, where we have a watery grave to put someone in. There's a crate we can hide on, and we gotta kill the cap, and we can kill him in any way we see fit. Hide in the crate. Just as expected, the crate I hid in has been transported to the ship's hold. I must now find and kill the captain. He's probably on a deck in the rear of the ship, on a higher deck. Okay. Let's go to the mid deck. So this is where the fun begins. I haven't actually found any bad guys yet. Ain't telling you, lad. It's do your work. Pretty simple. Now, in some of these, I won't be able to kill everyone. I need to point that out. I've gained access to the captain's cabin of the ship. I must now kill the captain. What in blazes? You ain't one of me crew. You best start explaining yourself, mate, if you want to get off this ship alive. Ah, what are you, some kind of preacher or something? One of them crazies from the church? I ain't got time for this. Oh, you wombo combo and little bitch. Oh, they really spam that ability, huh? Ow. Ow, okay. And we kill him. He's dead. I must now return to the sanctuary. To receive my reward and it gets better i'll steal that i'll steal his key Captain. Cap we heard a clamor we're coming in no you're not because i'm running 
Partner group. And now we can fast travel. Okay. Pretty simple assassination. No real uh, special thing you had to do there, just kill him. Uh, it, it gets better. There's, a, there's like, you know, like, kill someone with the environment, kill someone without being seen, only kill the target. It's really neat, if you ask me. So, the pirate has been eliminated. Excellent. No one will mourn his passing, and Sisyphus has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful to those who value discretion. I'm glad you've returned. The contract is waiting, if you're ready. We need you to stage an accident. Kill the target in the manner specified, and you'll receive a considerable bonus. Do you accept this contract? Yes, we do. As I expected. Good. The target is a wood elf named Banian. You will find him at his home in Bruma. Enter secretly and avoid his manservant, Grom. On the second floor is a secret door leading to a crawl space. Inside are the fastenings of a mounted head that hangs over Bainlin's favorite chair. Loosen those fastenings any night between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m., and the head will surely fall on Bainlin as he relaxes in his chair, as is his custom. If Bainlin is eliminated in any other manner, or if the manservant Grom is killed, you will forfeit the bonus. Now go, and may Sithis be with you. <laughs> Quest accidents happen. Beware the gods have taken note of your crimes. Do not continue down this path. You will be unfit to wilt the crusaders' relics. Ah, yes. Because you can't have infamy. Little thing I forgot. Luckily, I don't use any of the crusaders' relics. And yes, if you notice, my uh, my fame is a hundred. Yeah, can we can we take a moment to talk about that? Because that's insane. I suppose not really, but okay. We gotta go kill. Well, we gotta go do the quest. Accidents happen. Breaking into the right house? Yes, I am. When you forget if you're breaking into the right house. Uh, I've entered Balin's house. If I can access the second floor crawl space and loosen fastenings on the mounted head between 8 p.m. and 11 p.m., it will fall on Balin as he rests in his chair. If Balin dies any other way, or if Grom is killed, I will lose my bonus. Master doesn't like visitors. Leave this house now. If you're still here in 20 seconds. Easy, friend. Easy. That guy's a little bitchy. Oh, it's 8 a.m. Go up to the second floor. That's the basement. Here's the second floor. 
Use the crawl space door. Boom. You cannot wait while trespassing. That's right. I gotta wait till 8 p.m. to do it. It's not 8 p.m. There we go. I think I just cut it a little close. Wish it could at least show me the time. These appear to be fastenings of a mounted minotaur head. As expected, they have been loosened over time. You could easily remove the fastenings, causing the mounted head to crash on the floor below. Do you wish to remove the fastenings? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, well, we just saw what happened when you don't do it correctly. <coughs> I'd, I'd like to get all the bonuses, so I'm going to be a stickler about doing it. We'll wait till nine. Eight's fine, actually. Cause it, cause by the time I get up there, it'll be nine. Sit back down. Sit back down. You didn't see a damn thing, bud. There. Now let's kill him. Mounted head has fallen on Balin, killing him as expected. I must return to the sanctuary and speak with this sent our guy to receive my reward. Now I don't want to get seen leaving, so I'm gonna jump for it. Ah! How did he not hear that? <laughs> he didn't hear it though. There we go. Go back to Chaindale. Kill two really easy assassination contracts, eh? It's, admittedly, it's a little sad how short this quest line is. Oh, I apologize, I never showed you the black band. That's what it does. It's a decent little thing. So, the accident has been Sufferthorn. Bainlin lies dead. Well done. You have more than earned your reward and bonus. I present to you this dagger. It's an enchanted blade known as Sufferthorn. Its prick is deadly, I assure you. Yes, you are quite an asset to this sanctuary. In fact, I believe you are ready for advancement. I hereby appoint you Slayer. Well done. Now go, child of Sithis. Go and rest. You'll need it. Thank you. Okay, and although this was an incredibly short episode, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Oblivion. In the next episode, I plan on doing uh, one or two more contracts. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, have a good day.